the knowledge of ancient Upanishads infused into art of healing. Introducing touchless therapy for curing health diseases and beauty revival. Upanishad states the five kosh yoga or doctrine of the three bodies. The core essence of which is to realize the supreme self. The Upanishads says that we are soul covered by five layers or kosh namely. Anumaya kosh. Pranmaya kosh. Manumaya kosh. Vijin Maya Kosh and Anand Maya Kosh. If we deeply understand it, we also get knowledge on health perspective the interconnectivity of five Kosh or three bodies, role of energy centers in working of physical body and manifestation of us in God or Self. The human being is composed of five kosh or three bodies emanating from God by avidya or ignorance. Sthila Sharia. Anumaya kosh. Physical body which we see. Sukshma Sharia or subtle body which includes. Pranmaya kosh. Manumaya kosh. Vijyanmaya kosh. Karana Sharia. Casual body. Anandmaya kosh. Physical body which we see includes skin, flesh, fat, bones, filth, etc., which is made of food. As an electric machine requires electricity to work. Similarly our Anamaya Kosh or visible physical body requires prana to live. Parts or organs of our body don't have their own power to work. It is the Pranamaya Kosh which controls the functioning of our body. Pranamaya Kosh is made of prana. Or vital force. And includes. Energy centers or chakras. Outer and inner aura. And. 72,000 nadis. The five pranas and the five organs of action together are called the pranamaya kosh. But without emotions, feelings, and intellect, this body is just like an electric machine. It is the manamaya kosh and vijyanmaya kosh which makes the complete human anatomy. It is the Manamaya Kosh and Vijian Maya Kosh who are the controller of our body. The Pranamaya Kosh, Manamaya Kosh and the Vijian Maya Kosh together are called as Sukshma Sharia. Sukshma Sharia or the subtle body is the body of the mind and the vital energies which keep the physical body alive. Kranusharira or Anand Mayakosh is merely the cause or seed of the subtle body and the physical body. It originates with avidya, ignorance of the real identity of the Atman or Self, instead giving birth to the notion of Jiva. Now, as Anamayakosh requires Prana to live, similarly Manamayakosh requires Anand and peace. But, due to knowledge of self we only realize it in deep sleep. When we are in sound sleep, ji reach the state of Anand Mayakosh. This is the importance of sound and regular sleep. Which we need daily as to let our Manamayakosh feel joy and peace. And gets recharged for the next day. Role of Anand Mayakosh. Gets activated in deep sleep. When the mind and senses cease functioning, it still stands between the finite world and self. There is veil between an and Mayakosh and God, who is Sat Chit Anand Swarupa and Anand Mayakosh is near to God. Therefore, in deep sleep, Samadhi or meditation, we feel peace and joy. Now, Upanishads state this all bodies, or Kosh are subject to change, 
and one which remains the same is consciousness which is equated with soul, or, God, and is mover of all bodies. The core essence of five kosh yoga, or, doctrine of three bodies is self-realization. But, on health perspective we infused this knowledge into art of healing for curing health diseases, and beauty treatments.